Good day everyone, I'm Rona Condesa Biliete and I'm now second year taking up Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management and I'm here to tackle about the history of volleyball, rules and regulation, court dimension, officiating and games of volleyball. So let's get started. What is volleyball? Volleyball is an Olympic and NCAA sport as well as a game played by people on indoor courts and outdoors at playgrounds and beaches and in backyards. So let's proceed to the history of volleyball. The game of volleyball was invented by William G. Morgan in 1895. He also invented basketball. World War II. In 1917, the game was changed from 21 to 15 points. In 1919, American Expeditionary Forces distributed 16,000 volleyballs to its tropes and alleys. This provided a stimulus for the growth of volleyball in foreign lands. In 1916, Philippines, an offensive style of passing the ball in a high trajectory to be struck by another player were introduced. The Filipinas developed the bomba or kill and called the hitter a bomberino. 1970s. In 1974, the world championship in Mexico were telecast in Japan. In 1975, the U.S. national women's team began a year-round training regime. Men started in 1977. So now, let's tackle about the basic rules in volleyball. Six players on the team, three on the front row and three on the back rows. A point will be awarded for every play of the ball. Only three hits per side. Player can hit the ball twice in a row. Game is played 25 points and must win. A ball hitting a boundary line is in. So now I will discuss the structure of play in volleyball. Toss coin. In toss coin, the winner can either choose whether to serve or receive. Second, select the side of the court. The loser will take the remaining choice. Another toss coin will be made by the start of the set if necessary. Warm up session. In warm up session, Prior to the match, if the teams have previously had a playing court at their disposal, they are entitled to a 6 minutes warm-up period. Together at the net, if not, they may have 10 minutes. In rotation, team will rotate each time they win serve. Player, player shall rotate in clockwise manner. There shall be 4 to 6 player on each side. It is important for a volleyball player to understand the equipments that will prevent injury and bring success during the activity. First, the solid ball. Second, knee pads. Third, ankle braces. Fourth, proper footwear. Fifth, volleyball duffel bag. And the last one is volleyball serving machine. And now, I'm here to tackle about the moves in volleyball. It was serve, spike, blocking, and bump pass. So serve. Serve is a player hold the ball in one hand and follows through to hit it with the other hand in an attempt to get it into the opponent's court. Spike. Spike is uh, usually the third hit with an open hand. The object is to hit the ball down with your hand so that it lands on the opponent's court and can be defended. Third is blocking. Refers to the action taken by players standing on the net to stop the opponent's spike. Bump pass is the attempt by the type to receive an attack. A bump lands it the form arm. So this is the last topic that I'll discuss. 
there are six players on the court in the game of volleyball. The first one is the outside hitter, second, middle blocker, third, setter, fourth, right side hitter, fifth, libero, and the last one is defensive specialist. Outside hitter. An outside hitter is a player who hits and blocks on the front left side of the court. This player is also known as the left side hitter. The outside hitter gets lots of swings at the ball not only because she is a solid hitter but because the outside is where the ball goes most often when the pass is not perfect. Middle blocker the middle blocker, sometimes known as the middle hitter, is the tallest player on the volleyball team. Their main role for the team is being the first line of defense against the opposing team's hits. The middle blocker will have chances for quick points through the set. Setter In volleyball, the setter plays the role of setting. The ball into the correct area so that the hitter can make a clear and effective, effective hit spike. The setter usually takes the second hit so that a play consists of a pass, set, and then a spike. Right side hitter. The right side hitter is also known as the weak side hitter and backup attacker. It is uh, pretty easy to guess that the right side hitter plays on the right side of the court. The responsibilities of this player include both attacking and blocking the attacks of the opposite team's outside hitter. Libero The libero is a defensive specialist. This player typically wears the same jersey but is opposite the color that the entire team is wearing. This is to indicate to the referees that he or she is the libero. The libero has special substitution privilege and is preferred to receive the team's hit spike. Defensive specialist. Defensive specialist is specializes in passing and must find a balance between aggressive defense and trust with their team's libero. Must be mentally strong. These players is essential in defense and serve receive, but often gets less credit than they deserve. Usually subs in for a front row, but may or may not serve. Most often only plays back row.